Dreadfeather and Psycho Rage from Grepax. In this DIY video, we will be showing you how to repair a screen door that has been pushed out. Notice our beautiful Grepax pup, Riley. Although she is trained in many things, she used her nose, pushing the screen, causing the screen to let loose. So let us move along as Psycho Rage shows and explains the simple and cost-effective repair. So as you can see, I took it off. We're here flat on the ground. Um, so the way that they normally install this is they would get a screen that you would cut that's larger than the door. Um, you would lay it over it and then you would use a little roller tool, which I don't have, to uh, press the screen into the seam. And then once the screen is pressed in, you cut all the excess off. So it's gonna be a pretty difficult repair to try to use this screen in place. See if I can save us a few dollars. If not, then I'll be doing a follow video on how to put in a new screen. But for now, I'm gonna see if I can actually get this to work. So the first part that I did was I started removing, I just pulled it out with my fingers, um, the little piece that goes here in the groove. So you see here, we'll pull more up there. The reason I'm doing that is because it's not attached up here. And in order to put this back in, I have to get the screen under that. So I gotta pull it up first. And luckily, I got lucky, it ended right up here, um, which, is where I, which is where my kind of pull out started. So I'm just gonna follow that back all the way down uh, the screen here and I'll kind of walk through it. So I'm just gonna pull it up on here and as you can see, it's already kind of pulling out. Um, so I'm gonna do that here. Be real careful. And we have a little bit pulling up on the bottom too. So I'm gonna try to fix that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go past the corner here and just pull up to about here. So my plan is I have to get this screen taunt here, taunt, taunt along all the edges to get it back in the grooves as much as possible here and against here. So I'm gonna try to use tape to get that going. And as long as I can get it in there, I should be able to push this down and maybe I'll just leave the, the blue painter's tape in there for now so we have a functioning screen, um, but we'll see. As you can see here, kind of use ingenuity I'm using a pizza cutter because I don't have the tool to kind of get it firmly and to push the cord down very similar to the tool into the groove. I'm just gonna follow along here, kind of every now and then. Now I have to true up these corners with a flathead, and I, all I have is Phil's towel here. I'll get one here in a second to do that. Um, kind of see, this is actually working better than I expected. So what you have to do here is, as you move down, you need to make sure you pull the screen up, and make sure since. This was already pre-cut that you've got enough going in this lip here um, and that's going to be the hard part as we keep moving down so we're going to keep just kind of moving along and this tape is only needed so let me get that out of there so this is where it's going to get a bit difficult so i'm having a hard time keeping this time so what i'm going to do for this area is I'm going to grab this on this and I'm just going to make a tab out of the out of the tape so I can hold it tight you can see here it's staying in pretty good 
since we got this far, what we'll do is we'll put our tab a little bit further down. Um, you know, let's say put it down here. Take this one off. It's painter's tape, so it comes off real easy. And we just want to keep the screen taut up here so that as we press in, we know we're getting whatever lift we can. We're getting that rubber, that rubber pressed into it real good. With a nice strong seal for us. Now, I'm a little worried. We'll see how it goes. I think I'll be all right. See, the corner that I pulled off was here, and we're a little short. So I might be short at the end of my run, but we'll see what happens when we get a little bit further along here. But we'll just keep repeating the same process. So keep it tight, pull it taut. Your little pizza cutter. Um, I also started this just using a flathead screwdriver. That seemed to work just fine. But, oh, all right, so I messed up. Um, so I got to backtrack a little bit. The screen pulled out a little bit on me here. Um, so what I did was, instead of holding it up, which I think is my mistake, I'm now holding it down and tight. So the idea is that we just get it nice and tight in here. All right, now we're getting to the point where we don't need this tape anymore. Take that off. All right, so we're getting, we only got a little bit left to finish. Um, so I think we're doing pretty good. So, just keep the same pattern going. All right, we might have a little bit of an issue here, but we'll see how it goes. So I think I was a little too generous on the south side with the screen. This is why when you break the screen out, you really just need to replace it. But I'm gonna see if I can get by here. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to cheat my way now that I'm looking at it because I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough screen to get it sealed up here proper. We're just gonna keep going with it and see how well it does with what we got. We might be able to get away with it working for now. See if the dog does it again. It's a new house, so she really didn't know or have experience too much with screens. So I'm hoping, you know, we can train her out of it. But for now, we'll just do this so that we can train her. And maybe when she stops running into it, I'll put a new one in. See how she looks. I think it'll work for now, but uh, I think I was a little too tight on the bottom side. So, as you can see, with a pizza cutter and with the parts still there, as long as the screen isn't ripped through, you can pretty much fix it. So 
I'm gonna go with this for a little bit until she gets used to it. And then once she gets used to it, um, maybe we'll put a new one in. I don't know, we'll see. Um, maybe it'll just last. We hope you have enjoyed this DIY video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out. <laughs>